Hey guys, are you in the know? If you're an adolescent like me, you may be up to date with the latest trends, TikTok challenges, and social media abbreviations. You know, BFF, IKR, BRB, OMG. Well, how about NCDs? Are you still in the know? Hmm, what's the latest trend in online now? Nothing on NCDs. While NCDs aren't what's trending online, they are increasingly trending as a different kind of challenge among adolescents. So come on, let's get in the know. An NCD is a non-communicable disease, meaning it is not spread from one person to another and normally affects a person for a long time, quite often for life. That means persons living with the condition usually have to make lifestyle changes and take medication every day. The most common groups of NCDs are heart disease, diabetes, otherwise known as sugar, cancer, and lung diseases like asthma and hypertension, known as pressure. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Aren't those old people diseases? The thing is though, some NCDs cause problems even in young people's lives, especially if we don't find out about it, if it is diagnosed late, or if we don't follow the proper treatment. No joke guys, I'm living with diabetes and I take meds every day. I was only 13 when I was first diagnosed with diabetes. Being in the know has allowed me to understand and better manage my condition. Trust me, it could happen to you. So a lot is going on and we do too many things that may not be best for us just cause it's easier or nice. We may drink too much juice or soda. Drink water. Water good you know? We don't get enough fruits and veg and for sure, most of us are not exercising enough. For real, we're supposed to exercise for at least half an hour every day. All the smoking and drinking, not good either. Trouble that. That's why they call these things risky behaviors. And they increase the likelihood of us developing NCDs. What that again? Non-communicable diseases. But there is good news. You too can be in the know. So listen up. Yo, I am an adolescent too. And when it comes to non-communicable diseases, I try to be in the know as much as possible. Research is quite easy. I travel with a library in my pocket every day. Did you know that NCDs can also be passed on through family genetics? If anyone in your immediate family has an NCD, it's a good idea to start thinking seriously about your health. Which brings me to that magic word, screening. Screening means checking for risk factors or early signs of disease in persons that look healthy on the outside but may not be on the inside. Screening is pretty much the key to being in the know. It was my first screening session with my school's nurse that made me aware of how unhealthy my eating habits had become. Now, I go to see my doctor for regular checkups, keeping my appointments. I am in the know and don't need to worry so much about NCDs creeping up on me. Now isn't that a trendy challenge? I know, right? <laughs> but don't just take my word for it. Let's hear from someone who is really in the know. It's great that you want to be in the know when it comes to your health and non-communicable diseases. Did you know that most NCDs that we can have when we become adults have a lot to do with how healthy we are as adolescents? Yep. So let's get started with some healthy habits. 
Regular health checks with a healthcare provider, so your doctor or your nurse can help you prevent potential problems, or at best, you know, we pick up on them early. This can save you from a whole lot of health issues, and it's great because then you can have more control over your physical and mental health and just your overall well-being. So, here's what to expect. Your visit to a healthcare provider should be a good experience. This is a time when you get to come with your questions. You get to ask anything you want to know about your health and get the answers that you need. We usually will start out by asking you if you have any health concerns. So, you know, think about it before you come so that when you get there, you can remember to tell us exactly what's been on your mind, what's bothering you. Then we're gonna ask you a few more questions to see how things are going, how things are going at school, things at home, how you've been feeling, if you feel stressed, if you feel sad a lot, if you're concerned about how your body looks, or if you worry about a lot of things. We're gonna also touch base to see if you're making any decisions that can maybe put you at a little bit of high risk. Things like smoking, drinking, or not exercising, just to name a few of those. Then we have to make sure that you're growing well. Yeah, cause you're still growing. So we're gonna check a few things. We'll check your height, we'll check your weight, your BMI. Then we're gonna do some other things that you might not have remembered we do. We're gonna check your blood pressure, test your urine, and we're gonna to have to check to see how well you're seeing. Who knows, you may have to get glasses like me. Then we'll do a physical examination. No, it's not scary. We will listen to your chest, listen to your heart, feel your abdomen, that's the tummy area, and then check to make sure that you're developing as you should. It's usually a really great experience and you will learn how to take charge of your health a little better each time you go. It's great to go once a year, but for sure, try for at least every two years so we can pick up on any health concerns at all earlier rather than later. So guys, now is the perfect time to visit your healthcare provider. Talk to your parents about the importance of being in the know. Head to a health center, go have a chat with your school nurse, make an appointment with your doctor, be in the know. I told you she was in the know. Now, will you be too? You know what? Maybe NCDs should be trending so more young people can be in the know, make healthier lifestyle choices, learn more about preventing NCDs, and getting regular checkups. The next time you're online DMing your BFF, you could be talking about BMI, BP, and HPV. That way, your friends too can be in the know. If you have any concerns or questions about non-communicable diseases or just concerned about your health in general, please contact your doctor or school nurse for confidential advice.